Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for having me. Nir, thank you for putting this conference on. Thank you all for the great content you've had uh, presented so far. This is actually me presenting early on. We're still a month away from the conference, um, or thereabout. It's October 4th. Uh, we still have a few weeks. And I am presenting to you uh, burning the midnight oil uh, up with Asia. And it is uh, 2 a.m. here in central U.S. time, but uh, wide awake in Asia. So we're here uh, just discussing. We just had a had a recap for Cardano Summit. So I thought I'd share that, what we did. Um, this is a little bit uh, about what we're doing here in the community in Austin, uh, ATX and then helping kind of connect uh, communities globally around Cardano, um, just helping the Cardano ecosystem in different ways, um, but really focusing on scaling smart contracts in a way that makes it helpful and easy um, plug and play for all. So this is uh, just a little bit about uh, digital value. That's this. Uh, discussion today. Today, We're just discussing about the problem of a lot of companies want to use blockchain, uh, but few developers really know how to create a blockchain application, especially uh, smart contracts. What you see here is uh, Haskell. It is a smart contract, um, basically a, a very powerful code that you see um, built uh, from Cardano. Um, Haskell is used in Plutus, and we're just discussing this. Uh, it's a very um, complex language, <laughs> and a uh, few very, very, very few developers actually understand it. And trying to understand it is uh, is, uh, but then creating uh, flexibility uh, similar to Blockly, that was created for kids basically. Uh, for newbies to help understand it. But again, how do we create that um, complexity that Haskell has but and uh, execute everything properly, but then still make it in a way that everyone understands? And that template format is, is what we're going for here. Um, um, digital value aims to help um, everyone at the point of their need based on certain parameters that most people have. Um, for example, an escrow, most people in their lifetime have the need for an escrow. So that being the case, we can see uh, the most used smart contracts and really help uh, delve into the needs of the masses and build those templates for all. So again, the template approach we have focused on businesses, particularly finance, uh, with no experience in blockchain, um, small, medium size, and helping helping everyone, not discriminating, helping them, um, especially the ones without the programming experience, especially with the, without the Haskell experience. It is uh, very difficult. Um, to understand Cardano and the ecosystem and, and all that it has to offer. This is going to be natively built on Cardano and then cross-chain. So the idea, similar to Zapier for businesses connecting APIs or IFTTTT for individuals connecting IoT, or basically connecting through a Chrome extension or another API to be able to connect uh, platforms together. and I think that for all, I think an easy um, visual is like a WordPress that everyone can understand. And still, it may take some learning. WordPress isn't still as easy as maybe Squarespace. But you know, we, we need to have some um, format that it can be uh, challenging in some ways and maybe uh, it can be still complex, so we can still obtain everything needed. So that template format will, um, you basically fill in the blanks with, uh, based on the template, you know, name, address, et cetera, 
and then that will update accordingly. So the template engine, as you can see here, these are the different multi uh, various chains that we have in, in the blockchain ecosystem. Ethereum, EVM, so CeeLo, BNB, uh, Matic, others would be in the, in the Ethereum, EVM space. Chainlink is our go-to for, um, uh, for an Oracle. And then uh, we will have Polkadot and Solana in the future. RSK is how we're going to be writing um, the smart contracts tied to Bitcoin. And so the RSK has a bridge already to EVM, um, but that will be later in the pipeline. Um, and we'll go over that next. Um, but as you can see here, this is the, the template engine. And this is basically a, a visual of all the data that we're going to be getting into, uh, all that good stuff. There's a lot of complexity here, and it's hard to go quickly, but I'm trying to limit this to 15 minutes, so not to bore too many people. But this uh, digital value smart contracts, in a sense, trying to see what can be done on chain and to save time and energy um, and money, see what can be done off chain. Um, of course, now that we're focusing on financial transactions, there will be some uh, Oracle uh, needed. So if we have a smart contract template for, uh, um, let's say, a lemonade stand for two kids, maybe we don't need the price of lemons to be called. Um, but if that escrow contract um, or financial product that is dealing with a bank you certainly may um, need to have an Oracle involved with that. So you have web APIs, market data, IoT data, AI analytics. You're taking those all together and really creating a master, um, master document in a sense where you're taking all of it and uh, learning the best of, uh, a lot of data to learn from. Um, and a lot of um, different engines that can be created from this. Um, and a lot of what we see in the future, AI helping kind of mesh everything together. So we do see that um, in the future, this will be a SaaS model, not necessarily focused on blockchain, but it will be um, just solving solutions, you know, similar to Rocket Lawyer, how they have a mass uh, adoption of just helping people get used to contracts, you know, at a at a reasonable uh, price, yeah, with a lot of lawyers that basically do this for a lot of people. That NDA um, can be used in the same way for multiple people, or hundreds of people, or thousands of people, um, and so in the same way, we feel this could be used, um, just getting the most used smart contracts focused around finance and uh, monetary transactions at first, and then expanding from there. Um, so we will go into this now, uh, the contract template, uh, the web applications, and without getting too technical here, um, just is really understanding um, how you, can fill out a form and connect that to, to code in the back. So connecting to Haskell, um, what Marlowe, the financial uh, templates, those are, are very well done uh, by Cardano IOHK. So we'll be implementing um, a lot of those as well um, and integrating uh, with Cardano, helping, trying to do what we can to help uh, in Asia in any way we can. So we'll be looking at those uh, templates uh, with Marlowe uh, specifically. Uh, let's see here. So generate smart contracts. Again, that's coming back uh, to uh, Plutus is the base layer. Uh, Haskell is the main um, language within Plutus, uh, Rust, Polkadot, Solidity, Ethereum. So we'll be able to be a cross chain, uh, validate these. Um, 
So in in the template itself, without getting technical, you'll be able to write out your name, address, whatever the blanks are. And then without even needing to know how to code to generate any form of code in any of these languages, it the templates will be able to do it for you. So that's the beauty of this. And that's the, the idea around um, deploying everything will be uh, very seamless in a sense, very seamless. So we will be able to even to give your keys, your 15 words for your wallet. Oh, I, I can't lose them. Uh, onboarding people. It's a, it's a very um, discouraging thing if, if your first wallet, you've already lost the 15 words that unlocks it. So we will be helping people um, if they do want that centralized mechanism to help them keep those, um, those keys, um, the keys to the kingdom, to the wallet. It's, it's helpful for, to have a helping hand. So we will be able to give uh, some assistance if, if needed. If not, then of course you can be fully decentralized. And eventually, um, we do see this as a DAO. Eventually, with when the algorithms are smart enough, then this could run itself, and it could be a DAO, um, similar to how you know ultimately, like a WordPress could be fully decentralized and Theme Forest plugins connected and you know, you have developers develop and they reap the benefits and rewards and everyone shares and the spoils. So I think that uh, digital value eventually will be a DAO and fully decentralized in that sense. So I think uh, that is here, just seeing those contract templates where we're gonna upvote uh, being able to give new templates and new opportunities for based on the needs of the, the community. Um, it'll be based on uh, country, by um, industry, and by language, uh, looking at those templates and the needs uh, therein. Still, again, focused on finance, uh, financial instruments in the, in the beginning and expanding from there. So again, so again the going step by step, understanding uh, what is what in the templates, knowing cross-chain, which uh, blockchain, uh, predefined contracts in those templates to be able to see and prove the security as well. Because the security and understanding those validators to have a preset um, template that's worked time and time again is, is very um, necessary. Again, with financial data, um, banks, et cetera, it's very important especially connecting to um, POS systems, et cetera, connecting it to third-party uh, APIs similar to Stripe or Square. It's gonna be very necessary as we connect um, to helping run uh, companies that generate money and uh, that there's a lot of responsibility with that. So we want to make sure security is um, well-defined within each smart contract and have a parameter and standards for those. And that is, uh, in a sense, having a certain standard in the same way you have a certification. Um, I do believe that in the future, being able to certify, um, just like Cardano was saying, um, being able to certify what is validated and what is not um, is necessary to create that framework. Um, is very much necessary. So again, we're here cross-chain looking at the roadmap ahead, Cardano. We're looking at going live in November and Ethereum, December, uh, February, uh, Solana and Polkadot, and then the marketplace in June. And there's so much yet to be discussed, so much more. Uh, we're looking forward to it when this is live at the conference. We will have um, something to uh, play around with to demo. You can take a look at it, um, digitalvalue.asia. We will have everything live for the, uh, the event. Um, so looking forward to taking uh, Gander uh, with you uh, then. 
looking forward to it. And thank you so much all for listening. I will hopefully speak to you soon. Thank you.